current reporting issues. This one, this subject really is of infinite width and depth. Um, as I've said to camera on a number of occasions, I'm a bit of a train spotter, a bit of an anorak when it comes to financial reporting, so I love all this stuff. Um, you've got to try, you've got to try and pass an exam. So you've got to forget about whether this is interesting or not, and you've got to try and limit your amount of knowledge so you don't become overwhelmed. What is this subject, current reporting issues? Current reporting issues is the subject of anything that the ISB are currently working on. Now, the International Accounting Standards Board here in London um, are, um, I don't know how many there are just at the moment, around about 17 or 18 of them, uh, mostly men, mostly oldish, working, I think, in that direction, at 30 Cannon Street. And they sit around a kind of round table, it's more like a, an oval table, to be honest with you, and they argue things out as regards financial reporting. But they don't argue about everything. So they argue about things that people care about. And the way they find out about what people care about is they go and speak to people and say, what do you care about? And people tend to care about things that they care about at the time. So maybe it's financial instruments, maybe it's leasing, maybe it's revenue recognition, maybe it's performance reporting. But the current issues change depending on the politics of the day. What I'm going to try and record is a bit of a generic video to give you an introduction to the idea of uh, uh, current reporting issues. Is that what I call it? Current reporting issues. I'm going to give you, try and, try and give you a generic video to give you a feel for this subject. But then I'm going to point you in the right direction to get some more body. Now, I'm not a big fan of getting you to read stuff, background. It's not great. It's boring. But just in the context of this, current reporting, I've got my lovely notes in front of me here. And I'm going to ask you to take a look at my articles. Oh, my articles. Um, I write for a magazine here in London known as uh, PQ, Park Qualified PQ. And you can uh, access the website and you can see my recent articles online. But it's, 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 the, it's the, uh, the, the, the articles that I've slotted into the notes that I want you to look at. Look at. Now, these notes are updated every six months, so these current issues are always bang up to date. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to work through um, all of the current issues, starting from the first page. Now, the label for this part of um, the chapter on uh, corporate social responsibility and current issues, the, the heading is Ivory Tower. Ivory Tower, IFRS column. Now, the reason I call this the Ivory Tower is because it just so happens that the building that the ISB work in is ivory coloured. Um, it's an ivory coloured building down, as I say, in, in Cannon Street, 30 Cannon Street. It's in an area known as Mansion House uh, in, in the city of London, as it's called. It's in the heart of the city of London, not far from where I play squash. And... Um, it's an ivory building, but there's also this idea, I don't know if you've heard this expression, that um, uh, we, ha we often have academics living in ivory towers and issuing rules. So we have the idea of academics living in an ivory tower. It's kind of a bit of a metaphor for, for people who are enclosed. Now, that's very hard on the ISB. The ISB are actually very open. So looking again at current reporting issues, the current reporting issues change depending on what their, they call them constituents, what the people who write to them want them to look into. And, and the, the, they just respond to the constituents uh, particularly, as you might imagine, governments, especially the government of the United States of America, particularly the United States of America, um, but also the UK, you know, African nations, Brazil, Japan, China, of course, they all have an input. Governments, yes. And then you've got, you know, the auditors, yes. You've got the idea, PwC, uh, KPMG and all those guys. And, of course, also the big corporations, Microsoft, Microsoft, BP, Numura, all of these you know, huge entities, they all write in, they all email basically, or face-to-face -face conversations with the ISB and they say, I'm interested in this, this is important to me, and then the ISB consider it a problem to be solved and it becomes a current issue. So that's what current issues are. So current reporting issues is this area. 
Now, as recorded to the previous recording, the way that the ISP tried to solve these current reporting issues is by using this philosophy known as positional reporting. So they try and measure assets and liabilities at the year end in order to you know, come up with a good way of financial reporting in any particular area. So, um, just to pick an example off the top of my head, there are problems at the moment with, uh, with lease accounting. So, in order to solve the problem as lease accounting, they don't worry so much about the costs of lease accounting. They focus on the balance sheet and say, right, okay, lease accounting involves assets and liabilities. If we can correctly value the asset and correctly value the liability at any one point in time, we can solve the problem. And the income statement, the cash flow statement, will sort themselves out. So the way that they try to solve things is not by doing too much at once. They say, right, OK, leasing is a problem. It doesn't seem to quite work. If we, if we reinvent leasing, we can reinvent it by focusing on the asset and the liability. If we can measure correctly the asset in a lease contract and measure correctly the obligation, the liability in a, in a lease contract, if we can measure the asset and the liability in a lease contract between you and me, then we can get the financial reporting right. So that is the way that they solve problems. Seemed to work quite well. I quite enjoyed saying that, so I'm going to say it for something else. Uh, revenue recognition, always a problem. So revenue recognition, even though revenue is actually at the top of the income statement, the top of the P&L, they try and solve revenue recognition by focusing on the assets and liabilities, especially the assets. So they say, don't worry too much about the revenue itself. If we, can focus, on the, if we focus on the asset related to the revenue and get the assets right, if we can get the assets right, then the revenue will sort itself out. And that is how they are solving those two issues. And it's going to take them a while to solve those. So there's, there's two current issues that are going on at the moment. But how can you get a feel for this subject? Well, find yourself an evening when you're feeling a little bit sleepless. You're maybe a bit overtired, a little bit hyper. And try and read the ivory tower. You'll be asleep within minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the Ivory Tower uh, articles, as you can see, I don't know if you can hear those pages being flicked over as I flick them over. I don't know if it's catching them on the mic. But there's pages and pages of this stuff. But every single page contains a really punchy article. And every one of those punchy articles is covering one single subject. So you just get just a tiny little bit about leases then. A tiny little bit about uh, revenue then a tiny little bit about performance, then a tiny little bit about deferred tax, then a tiny little etc. You see what I'm saying? And that's what you need. You don't want too much. Oh, if you do want too much, I can give you the web. What do they call it? The URL. I can give you the web page that really is the bottomless pit. If you want to know everything and you want to delve deep into any one of these subjects, if you're crazy enough to do that, then you go to iasplus.com, and you will find a bottomless pit on every single subject. But no, no, no. Concentrate on the prize. We're doing P2 to pass an exam to earn more money, not to learn financial reporting. So have a look at the Ivory Tower articles. There's enough of them, and every one of those will give you just enough, and no more, on each subject. They're all really punchy articles and they cover every single current reporting issue you could ever want to know about. So they give you just enough so that you've got the bones to be able to answer any question in this area. Okay? So I'm finished there. So I'm just going to summarise what I've just said. Uh, current reporting issues are any issues that the ISB consider to be current. The ISB live in an ivory tower down in Mansion House in, uh, in the city of London. But despite the fact that their tower is ivory, they're actually very good at communicating with the outside world. So what they think is important is what their constituents think is important. So if the US government says look at revenue, they look at revenue. So they're looking at revenue because the US government says look at revenue. So current reporting issues are issues that are of importance to the ISB. What do you need to know about these, er these individual areas? It's all contained within the Ivory Tower articles. It's contained within, the, the, this uh, section of articles is contained within the chapter on corporate social responsibility and current issues. So although I'm not a massive fan of encouraging you to read around, I do want you to read these series of articles. 
The series of articles is um, one article per month for a number of years, so you'll have a number of articles, maybe 24, maybe 36, and you'll have a look at those articles. Every one of those articles covers an individual um, uh, current reporting issue. Some current reporting issues are covered twice. And every single one of them is really short, around about 250, 350 words. So each one of those will give you a feel for each of the current reporting issues without giving you too much. Final summary. Current reporting issues is anything the ISB think is important. And the way to find out what they think is to read the Ivory Tower articles. Great. There you go. We're finished with current reporting issues.